Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. I'm News Mess. Today we're back on Salt 2, Shores of Gold. We got some adventuring to do. I assume uh, there was a new patch, too. They added a bunch of... Or they, well, they added some things, uh, but they also updated some things, so we can view recent patch notes here. Oh, it just takes us to a web... I don't want to go to the web page. Uh... Uh, all right. Well, there was a lot of there was a lot of early game fixes. A lot of stuff uh, got changed. So there was some crafting recipes that got changed. Um, making plant oil and making arrows takes less now, so that's good. Uh, and then uh, some other things. There's a lot. It's a good patch anyway. Uh, I, I thought I was gonna bring it up here. I wanted to look at it here. I was sitting there looking at it the whole time, going, "All right, we can bring this up here and uh, check it out." But never mind. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of good stuff in the patch, though. Uh, so go check it out. We'll figure it out as we go to, because there'll be some things that we'll notice, some things we might not, but uh, uh, hopefully we do anyway. There we go. Uh, prison guards killed four of five, so I gotta find more prison guards to kill. What else did we have going on here? We had oh, just the one quest. Just the one quest. I forgot what we were doing last time. What were we headed to do? Don't remember if anybody else up here had a quest for us. Let's go find out. Uh, oh, also, uh, one of the patches was, um, or to your level, or something, I think, uh, was, was part of it. What do I do? Hit F? I can't remember. It's been a week since we played this. Uh, but yeah, the, the ore, you'll find more ore to your level. So once I'm a level 10 or whatever, I can mine iron. I'll see more iron, I think. Uh, yeah, so here. Right, it's immune for now, requires level 10. We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Let's see if anybody else got a quest. What's up, Chief? How's it going? I called him Chief last Hi. time. Uh, it's Chef. Uh, bonjour. May call, you may call me Le Chef. Uh, yes, uh, let's browse your stock. Okay. Uh, well, never mind. I was gonna, gonna browse his stock, but... Uh, oh, I've got some bluefish I could sell. Can we use these to cook with? I bet we can. We caught a bunch of fish. To me. Butter, cave mushrooms, chili flakes... Uh, Commander's Ring? Did I put that Commander's Ring on? I don't know if I did or not. Um, hmm, okay. Inventory. Commander's Ring. If we can find it. Be here, we might have put it on. We did, we got it on, okay. Alright, cool. Uh, I don't know if anybody here has a quest for us or not. Let's check the quest board. Uh, interact. Oh, that's the level 20. Okay. Uh, can't do that one either. I think we've done all the quests here on site, so let's jump back in the boat and cut out, I guess. Because the only thing we got left to do is kill another prison guard, which we'll run up on at some point. I am, I am positive of. I am positive of that. Uh, we could run out and grab some more fiber real quick, uh, just to see if we get more fiber you're supposed to now, so that'd be good. Uh, maybe we can do that, but yeah, mostly just gonna be jumping around uh, island hopping today. I do believe uh, Trying to find some more side quests and such too. So uh, Plant strong plant fibers and plant fibers received. Okay That seems like some like I didn't I wouldn't get the strong plant fibers out of these last time. I don't think Or maybe I was but I don't remember it. <laughs> I don't I don't remember if I was or not. Uh, welcome back to live chat, everybody. Manic Banana, Bud, Gabriel, how's it going? Karsten, Jeremy, Derek, Celtic Moon, how are y'all? I hope you are all well today. Good to see you. Thanks for jumping in and hanging out with me early on here. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, yeah, so today we're just going to be running around... Uh, can't do anything with that. Uh, running around island hopping, I think. And I wanted to just check around this place because this... I mean, it's a it's a friendly island. There's no, there's no enemies here. So I just wanted to check see if we could find some more fibers before we took off uh, and had to go fight a bunch of stuff. I wanted to try to make some arrows. The crafting recipe for arrows is supposed to be lowered as well, so that's a, that's a really, really good thing. Uh, arrows were kind of hard to come by. So I'm hoping that's a lot better now. Let's go. Going island hopping. Voltage, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Can't mine any of this, right? No, I don't think so. Nope, nope. Okay, cool, cool. And no more copper either. It looks like after we pick stuff up, it stays gone too. So we have to—you have to island hop in this game, I think. 
Uh, so there's a lot of cool stuff coming to the game. Uh, they're gonna add to the, the. They're gonna put something in here for a main quest, end quest. There's gonna be co-op. There's gonna be all kinds of stuff coming to this game. Uh, they've got a great looking roadmap, and I think after today we'll probably hold off for a little bit until a, a big a big content update comes out for it. Uh, I saw the patch and I was like, oh man, we gotta try out the patch just to see if stuff's a little bit better. And it seems like it is. It seems like there's uh, my frame rate's way better. Uh, I'll say that much. My frame rate was dropping to like 40, and now it's running at 120 solid. So uh, they did something on the uh, on the patch. Uh, it listed something about holding a steady 60 FPS now, so that's cool. Uh, it looks like they did some some work on the the back end. Oh, a raw pearl! We finally found a pearl. Uh, I'm not checking enough of these. I've just realized these things are all over the beach, and I barely looked at them. So another pearl, sweet. I mean, they're, they're literally everywhere. Didn't realize we could swim and pick stuff up either. Well, that's gonna change the game. That changes everything, doesn't it? Now we're gonna have to be looking in the water too, which I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing that far out. It's gonna be up here. It's gonna be close to the shore anyway. Which is fine by me. I don't. I don't like the. I don't like getting out in the deep ocean. There's stuff that can eat you out there. Can we actually get to that one? Oh, I'm trying to figure out if I can. I can't dive. Uh, you probably can. I'm just not. I'm just not figuring out how to do it. And I don't know how much these pearls are worth either. Let's go see if we can find a. Uh, a pearl here. Uh, pearls? Hello? We're gonna be up here with those. Aha, there we go. Uh, they're worth five. An un unformed pearl not worth much. Okay. If they're not worth much, that means they're still worth something to somebody, right? Oh man, it gave me the hit. Okay. They gave me the hitbox. They're still worth something to somebody, and I'm guessing we could probably do something with them, too. Probably craft them, do something else. Ooh, that was a green one. That had a green thing on it. That was just a regular old pearl there. I don't want no regular old pearl. Wait, did we get that? There we go. Dang, man, we could spend hours just collecting pearls, couldn't we? Make a pearl necklace. Again, there's literally a song for about every situation. I've said this over and over. I can't reach it. I'm hoping I could, but I can't. One out here. Nah, we're not going to be able to reach that one anyway. Spider Ed, how's it going? Bone, what's up, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we had one that had green around, like an uncommon pearl. We're going to check that and see. Uh... Oh, there was another one. Dang it, I shouldn't have just... All right, what is this? Uh, It's just got green around it. I wonder if it's... Or if it's different, or if it's the same, or what? But most of the most of the ones I picked up had blue around them. These have green, which is typically uncommon. I've abandoned my my search for fiber, and we're searching for pearls now. All right. Speaking of searching for pearls, let's go. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to be able to get out of here, am I? I don't think I am. We're going to have to toss our ship back out and do it again. Ships. Uh, place. Yeah, there we go. Off we be going. About to leave for uh, an out-of-town trip. Nice, Voltage. Good deal. Uh, I hope you enjoy yourself. That's always fun. 
That is always fun. And I know for a fact we went this way. Uh, was it 3 2 we're going for? Somebody told me to mark my map, and I don't know how to do that. Um, uh, tagging, tagging, tagging the, uh, islands, Charger Islands, I think it said Charger Islands, somebody said in the comments, uh, map, I don't know how to chart islands, I'm gonna be real honest with you, what is this, 2, 3 west, 2 south, yeah, so I just need to go straight this way, that's the other island right there we went to first, but if I go past it, um, we should be should be in the right place here. Three west, one south. I thought the island we were on was five west. Map to shipwreck. Oh, I didn't have this last time. I don't think. Oh, no, that's somewhere. Uh, seaport is five west, one south. Okay. Uh, two west, ten west, one south. Map to Battle Master Island. I don't want to go to Battle Master Island just yet. Uh, Pirate Island. We want to go to. Uh, let's go to the shipwreck. Waypoint. But we need to go... 7 west, 6 south. Let's get back on here. Uh, I know I said we're gonna finish hopping those islands over there, but I wanna go to the shipwreck. See what's uh, happening here. We wanna go west and south. There we go. Cool. Driving from Houston to Kansas City. That's gonna take you uh, a little while. That's not that's not terrible, but uh, that's that's a pretty good way still. Now you just gotta find the black pearl, indeed, indeed. What are uh, pirates' least favorite workout? Planks. His favorite is chest day. Uh huh. What's up, Bone? Uh, I've just realized that the black pearl was undernamed, undermanned. Uh, it was operating with a skeleton crew, indeed. Indeed it was. Operating with a skeleton crew. Alright, the thing, the, the last island went away and this is generating islands now, so it should be picking some up soon. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, we'll be loading some in here pretty soon. Let's check our, let's check our cartographer thing. Yeah, that deal. 4 west, 4 south. We need to go 6 south, 7 west, I do believe. Yeah, 7 west, 6 south. There. Five West, four South. Looks like we're on the right heading. We should be running right into that island soon. Uh, shipwreck, not island. Shipwreck. Should be running right into that shipwreck soon. While we're on our way, let's see if I can make some more arrows. I just thought about that. Arrows. So they did change it. This was three plant fibers before. Now it's two. And it was two stones. Now it's... Or two flint. Now it's one. And it's two logs instead of three logs. That's good. Because I can make two more uh, sets of... Oh, I see an island. Where are we at? We're at 5-5. We're going to have to stop this island. We're going to have to stop here. What a beauty of a game this is. 5 west, 5 south. We're going to 6, uh, six south, 7 west. So yeah, we just got to go... Uh, basically to that island and go over one more, looks like. What was that? Like we're living in the Matrix. Oh man, the waves got bigger out here, didn't they? That was a huge trough right there. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to this island. I wanna see what it is. Six west, five south. It says shipwreck. Is the shipwreck on this island? It looks like the shipwreck's on this island. This is probably our island right here. This might be shipwreck island. But we're headed directly west. I'm assuming this is probably our island. I may be assuming wrong. But I'm assuming. Seven west, six south. This is our island. That's what I thought. Okay. Easy boat. Don't go nowhere. Uh, let's swap our fishing pole out for our um, bow. Here we go.
That's a big copper vein. That thing's taking a while. There you go. Need the flint, though. I'll take all that kind of stuff. All this stuff's good. It's very good to have. Uh, oh, look at all this copper. Yeah. Oh, I see prisoners. Or I see jail cell. All right, cool. So there's more prison guards here, hopefully. Level up, level eight in mining. That's nice. Level 10, we can start getting some iron done here. Okay. So one of the updates, too, was you no longer have to sneak to get a sneak shot. You just have to be... Um, non-detected. So if we go up here... I'm going to go ahead and crouch just so I can know I'm undetected here. That hurt. I think he's an archer too, I guess. Ow. Alright, he's gone. Now, let's see if we can get the next guy. Let that bow off of him. Health is still good, it looks like, so. Oh, that did some damage. Yikes. All right, fine, we'll just fight him. Axe head and pirate ale. All right. Uh, do we have potions? I think we do. We have potions somewhere, right? Uh, potions. Potions, potions, potions. I think we do. What am I looking for? I'm looking into the wrong places, I think. Uh, oh, there we go. Food right here. Uh, strong health potion. Health potions. Let's put that in slot number one for now. There we go. Crouch again. There we go. He's gone. Oh. This guy's gonna be hard to fight, I think. During a little bit of time. Captain Shields. Captain, what's his name? Captain what? Uh-oh. Where's his body go? There he is. Uh, let's see. Health potion is good. I need to, um, there are four denomination coins. Coin oh, this is a pop-up. This is a new pop-up when you get a silver coin. I forgot about this. There are four denominations of coin, copper, silver, gold, and platinum. One copper equals one silver. One silver equals one gold. One gold equals one platinum. A uh, hundred. A hundred copper equals one silver. Sorry. A hundred silver equals one gold. A hundred gold equals one platinum. A hundred coins will automatically be upgraded to a single coin of the next highest value, so you can never have more than 99 of each type of coin at platinum. Okay. Cool. Pirate's Captain's Key. Yes, I think we're going to have to wait this out. It's really dark. Can't see anybody else here. But I see them. I just can't see them. You know what I mean? Like, I know they're there. I can see movement back there, but I don't know. I don't know how many there are, and it's really, really dark. Let's just enjoy the night, huh? Go ahead and fill up. Let's grab us some food real quick. Uh, what do I have to eat here? I got fish. I guess I can eat this raw. Probably shouldn't be eating this raw, but we have it. Uh... Oh, there was a piece of dust. I thought it was somebody running after me. Whew. Uh, let's see. Fish. Yep, we'll eat that too. Uh, do I don't have any more doubles of anything. I don't. Okay. Uh, no, I've got two of these. Small mouth bass. Yeah, there you go. Eat that one. Eating raw fish. It just sounds fantastic. I love it. I love raw blue grouper. Oh, we had a pirate ration. I forgot about this one. There you go. That'll fill us on up. 
Hey, we're just waiting. I'm not moving. I can see the people moving in the background. I just don't know how well I'd be able to fight them. Plus, on stream, it's going to look terrible. So. What do you call a, a journal found in a shipwreck detailing the hydration levels of lumberjacks? A waterlog logging waterlog. I was saying that ten times fast. Jeez. I'm glad we got the captain's key. Got that out of the way. These other guys shouldn't be bad, but I see like four right now. Like I can see four directly right now. There's one here. Uh, one here, one here. There's one walking right here somewhere. There's one over here that's walking around. There he is. Uh, and there's no telling how many more are on the other side over there. I can't, uh, I can't rush in there to do that. I'm gonna have to pick them off one at a time. I'll get killed. I don't want to get killed again. It feels bad. It feels bad, man. It feels bad, man. I'm just surprised they didn't hear me, like, beach my ship right over there. I think they would have. Oh, I don't know how many arrows I got. Oh, I got 18. Okay, it shows me right here. Let's see, I don't know how many arrows I've got left. Right there. 18 arrows. That's good. We're going to need them all, I think. Let me see if I can drag this guy out here. Oh, nope, this guy's in front. Okay, where's this guy going to? Where are you going to? Oh, this might be a good candidate right here. Got him. Gained a level. Now level 7 with archery. Sweet. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's just really dark. We're just going to have to wait. Like, I got the one guy. Right? We got one guy out of the way. I don't know if I can pick anybody else off and have them run this way or not without alerting the whole tribe over there. I don't want to alert everybody. I don't want to take one at a time here. This guy might be a good option. Alert anybody else? I don't see anybody else that alerted. Oh, it's not good. There we go. Empty. Got to have nothing on him. If I can pick them off one one by one here, we'll be fine. Pirate's post. Hope get some more arrows and another bow. If I can pick them off one at a time, we'll be okay. Uh, it's daylight enough. It's daylight enough. I just didn't want to be running around in the woods. It's actually kind of bright down here. Another guy somewhere. Those guys are close together. I may have to fight both of them, though. If one of them walks the other way. I like having the high ground. What's up, King Koofy? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, these two guys are sitting close together. There's one guy over here by himself. But I can't tell if there's another person over there with him or not. When these two guys separate a bit, I'll try to pick one off and see what happens. Got him. Okay. I don't think I'll alert anybody else. I don't see anybody else running behind him. Ow. Alright, fine. I'll just stay in the swing with you then. Dang. A wooden ladle. I don't know what you got. He must be cooking. Uh, light armor level up. Sweet. Okay. Alright, health is doing okay. We're still good. There you go, right there. Can't hit him. Is that a guy? I think that's a post. I don't think that's a guy at all. <laughs> I think it's a post. Probably gonna be arrows sticking all in that thing. Uh, also, also they updated arrows to keep them from going through things they shouldn't be going through, like trees and whatnot. You know how we were shooting through trees, or they were shooting us through trees. They updated that, so there's a lot of good patches in this in this patch here. Eye patches, 
Inventory patches, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I've got two episodes already streamed. Uh, we started it last week. Um, I would suggest checking them out because it kind of goes over like the very the tutorials and stuff what you got to do. Uh, the big patch today changed a lot of stuff though. So. There we go. Now, you, now we got his attention. I got four arrows left. I'm gonna have to save him, so I'm gonna have to fight this guy by hand here. There we go. Level up archery. Nice, I'll take it. Level up slashing. I'll take that too. Alright. We should be able to work our way around here. There should only be one more guy, I think, that I've seen. He's right there, I think. There could be one more somewhere. But I'm comfortable fighting one even without shooting him, so. I only see one person running after me here, so that's good. There we go. Empty. And that guy didn't have nothing on him. Alright, well I guess uh we can kinda chill now. Nobody around. I'm gonna take some. I'm gonna take a potion though. Get our health back up. If there's nobody else around. We'll just kind of hang out. Let's rest till uh, resting to heal half your health and increase uh, increase your hunger. Uh, rest till sunrise. Yes. Resting till sunrise. All right. Cool. Uh, empty bottles always good for crafting things. There's some butter. I'll take. I mean, I'm always gonna take butter. I don't. I don't mind. Uh, oh, here's a here's a miner's. Is this miner's guide? Is that what it said? A miner's guide, yeah, okay. Uh, tricorn hat, or some bananas. We're gonna read this in a second. I'm gonna try to read this in a second, let me rephrase. Oh, all this stuff is really good for crafting, so. Stone, or some rope. Uh, another book. Uh, Jokes for Pirates, excerpt four. Oh, here we go, Bone, here's your book, right here. Okay. Uh, an excerpt from Pirate Jokes, volume four. How do you turn a pirate fur furious? You take away the P. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it was going to be that simple. All right, here we go. As a blacksmith, I know how important it is to find the ore you need to forge and smelt to your heart's content. As such, I've taken time to track down the most common places one can find certain types of ore and have documented in this compendium. I hope you find it helpful. The ore type you are perhaps most familiar with is copper ore. Copper ore can commonly be found among most natural islands and caves. There is, it is softer ore, which is common pickaxes, uh, of which common pickaxes can make quick work of and minor with the most, and, and minor with the most rudimentary of skills. Oh, should be able to mine. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying it and should be able to mine. Uh, moving up from that is slightly more rare ore, albeit still fairly common. Iron ore. Iron ore has been scattered across multiple cavern, cavern, yeah, cavern types of islands, but I've noticed it seems to be found most often among desert islands. I suggest any miner looking specifically for iron ore there. Many blacksmiths find themselves making jewelry and such shinier, prettier ores such as silver and gold. These types of ores are often scattered among the islands with orange-tinted grass, commonly called Battlemaster Islands, due to the pesky pirates that inhabit them. Uh, pirates inhabit all these islands, it seems like. And finally, there are two most sought-after ore types, but far, the mo by far the most difficult to find, platinum and ebony ore. Although they can appear anywhere, rarely, they are sometimes easier to find in mining caves. Most entrances to mining caves I've found have been on desert islands, so I recommend that recommend that as a place to look should should you seek the rare stores. Uh, and that's where mining caves on desert islands. Okay, I uh, hope this information has proven useful to you, uh, to you, dear. Ready when uh, and may your blacksmithing be days filled with joy. Cool. Uh, that was that's actually really helpful. Uh, now we have some idea. Crap! I just drank another potion. I wish you didn't use the potions when you were full. 
It seems to do, though. Workbench arrows. I don't have any fiber. I gotta get some more fiber. Uh, I was wondering if we could pick up anything individually there. We cannot, though. Um, can I, I can't cook anything without a cooking table, I guess, or a crafting table. The workbench. Maybe it's crafted at the workbench. I don't remember. Yellow flower. Hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's some stuff in here. Hang on now. I mean, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed in the least. I'll take it. I'll take it all. Do you have anything? No? They're not using it anymore. Who cares? If they're not going to use it, I'll use it. All right. Some rope. Should we go? Let's just go ahead and go around the outside here. And then we'll move inward. Uh, bag. Copper and plant oil. I'll take that. Cheese. Some bananas. Food's always good. Some more copper. That looks like an axe of some sort. Swabby's hatchet. Okay. Cooking station. This is what I wanted. Uh, cook venison cooking oil. I can make cooking oil. I've got plant oil. What does it take to make plant oil now? It used to take, uh, yeah, it used to take three fibers. Now it takes two, so that's good. I'm glad they lowered the recipe slightly, because it was kind of hard to make. Uh, we need cooking oil, so I'll make one of those, and then we'll make a cooked. Uh, do we have venison? We do. Okay, cooked venison. There we go. Uh, stamina potion. What does it take to make stamina potion? Uh, two white ball mushrooms. We don't have those. Health potions. Oh, we can make health potions. We can make a lot of health potions, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and make... Wait, I have ten. Let's go ahead and make three more. There we go. Empty bottle. A bag. Copper, oil, and something else. What is this? Call of the Sea. A poem by Lincoln Turner. I was once a man without a home, searching these lands high and low. I felt a call to somewhere new, somewhere scared, somewhere... We've already read this one. It's a pretty common book, I guess. Fish hooks. I'll take it. Uh, three copper, morning dew, and wooden bowl. Yep. Can you get out of the way? Oh, dang, there's my arrows. I didn't realize I could collect those. We're going to go around and find all my arrows now. Fish hook. Yeah, we got to find all of our arrows. I bet they're scattered everywhere over here, too. Oh, man, there's so many arrows. Yeah, I've got to find them. And what I thought was a person earlier was probably this thing. Are my arrows stuck in the back of this? Oh, but they are right here. Oh, no, it was this post that I was shooting at. Uh, maybe if they hit something, they disappear, but... I think very few here. Maybe we should go check over here where we were shooting down at these guys a minute ago, too, now. That burned. Don't jump over the fire. Oh, yeah, look at this. All of our dang arrows down here on the ground. Well, that's nice to know. I'm glad I can pick my arrows up now. Couldn't do that before, I don't think. Ah, crap. Keep forgetting to put this back. There we go. What's up, Euphoria? How's it going? Foxtrot, how's it going? Okay. I wonder if there's some over here that I missed. I don't know if I missed many with that guy. Doesn't seem to be. I tried to be very sparing with my shots, so short of like one or two, I think I did pretty well. Yeah, I think we're good. There was a couple when I was shooting long shot over here that I missed, I know, but. Alright. Uh, let's go finish looting. Rest? I don't want to rest. Don't need to rest. I'm good, thank you. Another bag. Copper and oil. I'm always going to take copper and oil. Good to have. Always good to have. Copper and sandstone again. Good to have for crafting stuff. For certain. I see the pirate's chest up there. We're gonna go see what that's about. Oh, I forgot to search the skeleton over there, didn't I? A human bone. Well, uh, it looks like a human, so I'm 
I'm actually kind of happy that it's not a different type of bone. That would be really awkward, wouldn't it? What else we got up here? Fishing lure, clam, flint, and a bow, adventurer's bow, four more copper, nine copper. What is this? This is the Queen of Dreams excerpt. Following text is an excerpt for the book titled Queen of Dreams. This curse has not been lifted yet, but Captain Dudley remained steadfast in his endeavor to renew his crew. The soothsayer told him that in order to remove the curse, he would need to obtain the blood of an innocent sea creature. A mermaid. Did mermaids even exist? He had heard rumors, but always dismissed them as old sailor's tales. Still, he didn't have time to be skeptic. He followed clues picked up from the local taverns where sightings of mermaids had taken place. This led him to a small cave off the Bay of Wales. He docked up the ship, docked his ship, and ordered his crew to remain on board and to look uh, and took a raft into a cove toward a small beached area. When he arrived, he found white glistening sand and what seemed to be an untouched land nestled inside a rocky structure. Underneath the dark cave was a ray of light shining in from the hole above. The warm sunlight pierced the dark waters and a little ways into the blue, he thought he saw movement. Moving closer, Captain Dudley felt a twinge of excitement, but also fear. If this was a mermaid, could he really kill it? And yet, how could he not? His crew mattered more to him than anything. As he approached the edge of the water, the face of the most beautiful woman he had ever seen beached the, breached the surface and looked at him with an unexpected but warm smile. Her arms lay crossed on the sand as if she was resting on the fence of a dock. Her skin was the color of sunlight and her hair a uh, fiery red glow that flowed into the water. He felt his hand tighten on the hilt of his blade, but her beauty began to overpower him. He felt weak at the knees and started slowly stumbling toward the strange creature before him. It was as if the rest of the world had gone and she was a hole in the abyss pulling him inwards. Each step brought him closer to her. He fell on his knees and was now crawling towards her. Amongst his, uh, crawling towards her amongst his wheel. His eyes were emerald green her eyes were emerald green and felt uh, felt a desire greater than anything he'd ever felt to crawl inside them and sleep an eternal rest. His face was nearly touching hers when he noticed her red apple lips formed into the warm, inviting smile. Or was it a smile? Suddenly he felt that her expression was changing. He wanted to retreat. He wanted to pull back and felt his own ha felt felt his own will had been betrayed him. A sense of dread washed over him, and he heard a guttural scream in the distance. It felt far away, as if a voice in the real world was walking in, walking, waking him from a dream. What was the scream coming from? It sounded so familiar. Then he realized the most terrifying thing of all. It was he who was screaming. That's pretty terrifying, honestly. Yeesh. Uh, remind me not to, uh, not to go after mermaids. If the Little Mermaid was written properly, it'd have something like that. <laughs> Which I don't think would be for children, uh, depending, I guess, on what you let your children watch. All right, there's the... Uh, oh, that's the Herbless chest. That's the lock chest. All right, there's the Herbless chest. Three copper, fishing hook, uh, potion, and white ball mushroom. Oh, we did end up with a white ball mushroom. It's the first one we found. Yes, open the captain's chest. Three arrows... A brown tapestry recipe, map to Pirate King Island, Marauder's Hat, Scuff Diamond, Thief's Elixir. Okay. All right, we did good here. Let's go on and see what else is on the island here. Yeah, mermaids scare me, man. Uh, anything that uh, that unnatural is, is is scary. Very scary. Uh, oh, can I make more arrows? No, they're two, two fiber. That's right. Only got one. Take that, you bum. I've only got the one. We're just gonna keep making our way around here. Do have some arrows in case I need to get a shot off or uh, I see something where I want to get a shot off early. 
more venison would not be a bad idea to be truthful with you here. It's it's going to be... Oh, man, that's cooked boar. I'm not going to be able to... I really need to start eating those before I fight, I think. Increase strength for that long. That's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. I know there's some copper right here. We're going to come back and grab it. I'm just going to go over here and grab these little guys here. Boom. Sage. Green wood. And cup. Yeah, one of these days I hope to be good enough in this game to actually figure out how to play it properly. <laughs> This looks like a this looks like a temple area here. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to fight something. It seems like you always do when you come into places like this. Also, there should be a cave on this island, right? This is, oh, look at there! It's another chest. Hello, blacksmith's chest, copper, copper pickaxe, and an iron ore. Nice. That's a pretty good find. Oh. Oh, hello, big fella. Um, this place called Giants Island, it should be. Oh, there's the ship. We ain't even made it to the shipwreck, guys. That was just the the, the regular old uh, pirates that had taken up residence here. The shipwreck's right over there. We gotta keep going. We're not even in the right place. What's this? Can I get in here? I don't think I can. And yeah, we weren't even in the right spot. Ah, uh, not gonna bother. I need the venison meat, probably. One hit, one kill. For all deer meat and deer hide. Any pearls in there? I mean, I guess if we have to, we can go. Uh, we can go look around for pearls and such, but. It seems like, honestly, they're pretty easy to come by. So if we ever need them, we can just go look for them. Yeah, there's, there's the shipwreck right up there. And again, uh, I want to be prepared, so. I don't know how to be prepared for this because I don't know what's up there. Uh, I'm guessing nothing, but then again, does that that looks like something? I thought that was something. Um, yeah. Then again, you never really know what you're gonna find in these places. There's probably a lot of people out there to fight. Like, I don't typically like fighting games at all, but uh, adventure games you have to. You have to fight sometimes. And this is basically an adventure game. I mean, let's be honest. It's exactly what it is. Is there a cave down here? No. Kind of hoping there was. Don't see one. Okay. I've avoided it long enough. Let's go do the thing. Oh, that is a shipwreck. Yeah, he definitely stuck. How long has that been here? Maybe he's been here long enough that nobody else is here. I need all these herbs for cooking. Gotta have them all to do the cooking stuff. We gotta have copper to advance too. Plus we need to level up the mining anyway. Hey, level 10, we can now mine iron ore. Uh, one. Yeah. I see a cave. The cave is over there, but who else is here? Uh-huh. I see you. Undead soldier, huh?
Oh, we're not doing a lot of damage. I bet he's gonna hurt. Ow. Okay, fine. We'll just stand and throw. Cave. Okay. Got a cave key. Which is good. Uh, but I gotta get in there now. I'm guessing there's gonna be another one of these undead guys somewhere. Washed remnants. Yeah, if this was a, this was a, spe a specific map location, so I'm guessing there's probably more than one guy, right? Climbing gear, sage. Hey, I'll take all this stuff. Copper pickaxe, yes sir. Uh, I only see the one guy. Hey, we might be good here. Only see the one guy. That's nice. Okay. Uh, fantastic fungi. Where to find them? We've already read this one. I've read that book. I don't need it again. Uh, what we got here? We got uh, Pirate's Cutlass. It's not as good as my axe I've got. Speaking of that, we might want to keep it out just in case we've overlooked all these undead guys. They don't want him running up on us. And it's very possible they do that. Ten arrows, nice. Okay, and a ruined book. Can't do much with a ruined book, not yet, anyway. Uh, oh crap! I just drank the health potion again. Uh, equip. Iron vein. Guys are mining iron. Nice. Oh dang it! Stop hitting one. Yeah, they need to fix it so you can't drink health potions if you're already full. I like hot barn them, but I also like keeping my keeping my pickaxe up there too, though. I think we're on the outside again. That's fine. Oh, there's a crate. I'm glad we came around this way. Chest, seven copper, health potion, morning dew, uh, three more white ball mushrooms. Those herbless crates are nice. Broken climbing gear, plant fibers. Nice. Okay. Yellow flowers for the cooking. Uh, let's switch. Let's put this in two, I think. That'll just help me not drink potions, because I'm always trying to hit one to pull out the, uh, the pickaxe. If I just leave my potions in one, I'll, I'll stop touching it at some point. Slave and King excerpts. Okay. An excerpt from the book Slave and Kings. The pirate king looked down on Leon, not as a man, but as a venomous snake set to strike the heel of his ambitions. Leon was caught trying to free Lady Isabella from her sail. The fact that these two know each other was a slap in the face enough to the king. Uh, hello? I'm trying to read this. Uh, slap in the face enough to the king, but to try and release her before her sentencing, that was another matter entirely. The king stood in front of his golden throne and held a scimitar, c scimitar? Scimitar high in the air. He looked down at Leon, who was kneeling between two guards, their hands pressed tightly on Leon's shoulders. Your folly has cost the kingdom much. Isabel was offered freely to me, and she refused. Going against the wishes of the king is treasonous, is a treasonous act that cannot be allowed, and yet you try to interfere with her punishment. This is intolerable, and you will pay for it with your head. Leon's dark red hair dangled. I'm, hello, I'm trying to read. Stop, stop, stop moving, son. Uh, Leon's dark red hair dangled in front of his eyes with sweat dipped, dripped from his eyebrow onto the white stone floor of, of the palace. Of the palace, a smirk appeared upon his face. You think this is a game? The king questioned. No, Leon laughed. If this were a game, you'd have a chance at winning. As it turns out, you've already lost. And in a brief moment, the king's eyes were... The king's eyes went wide. I'm trying to get this out of the shade, but whatever. Is there a fire? Let's go find a fire somewhere. I don't see a fire. The dead don't need fire. All right, that's fine. 
Um, uh, in a brief moment, the king's eyes went wide, and Leon jumped back into the air, breaking loose from hold, breaking loose from the hold of the two guards. In the same motion, he grabbed a small dagger from inside his right boot and rammed it into the guard's throat. He then quickly threw the dagger toward the other guard before before he had a chance to attack. The blade landed in the rib cage, and the guard slowly crumpled to the floor in a sickening thud. The king took a step back. Guards, take him down! But it was too late. What a story. Right. I'm liking these little stories we're finding. This is pretty good. Uh, I like the little lore and stuff people put in their games like this. This is nice. This is nice. It, it makes a whole different uh, feel to the game. Oh, look at all these dead bodies out here. Hello. Did I just walk past these guys while I go? I feel like I did. Don't I have a lantern? I think I have a lantern. Uh, pretty sure I have a lantern somewhere. I had a lantern. Did I break it? Did I lose it? Did I use it all? Does it burn out? Oh, no, there it is. Light. Yes. Go. Let there be light. Four copper. Health potion. I don't, you won't be needing that health potion, will you? I don't think so. I didn't think so. Uh, we've already checked all this out here. So, all yeah, this is good. We can go back into the cave now, which should be fun. And it's going to be what it is in there, regardless if it's daylight outside, so. Should be okay. Here we go. Enter. Waiting to see if I see somebody walking around. Sometimes there's bears. You never know. Uh-huh. Got him. Cave mushrooms. Gotta look around for those. Level up. Light armor. Alright. Our light armor is still leveling up. It's just really, really good. More cave mushrooms. There's my two arrows I missed with. I'm glad I can pick my arrows up now. That makes me feel way better. And... Tales of the Sea, Volume 4. I don't think we've read that one yet. Tales of the Sea. The following is an excerpt from Tales of the Sea, Volume 4. A captain... As Captain Crawl stepped forward, the skull's, jaw, the skull's jaw flew open, and we heard a loud, piercing scream. Suddenly, a strange ghost-like figure appeared in front of the skeleton and spoke, spoke to us as the ground below trembled. Though I am dead, this island is still mine to protect, and so are its treasures. You have trespassed, and in judgment been found guilty. This island was discovered on the night of the blood moon. And you shall be cursed until the moon is red yet again. After its harrowing message, the ghostly figure disappeared into thin air. The shaking in the room began to fade, and everything from everything felt normal again. Had we been cursed? We didn't feel cursed. We all sat there for a moment, dazed. The captain, uh, then Captain Crawl went from went for the chest. I didn't feel right about it. We should have left right then and there. The captain opened the chest. Gold and jewels filled the inside, almost to the brim. The crew rejoiced and we all split up the treasure, carrying as much as we could back to the ship. That night we discussed the events of the day and the curse, trying to understand that if we saw it was real or was some kind of trick to keep us from the treasure. Unfortunately, I later discovered there was no trick. Oh, I guess he was cursed. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, sorry, fella. Sorry you got cursed. Uh, it wasn't you, apparently. All right, we do have a key for this. Yes. Nothing in here to fight me? Okay, good. Good, I'm happy about that exit. Oh, crap, I forgot. I told you, after enough of those, I'll stop pushing one. The stories are good. I like the music. Yeah, I mean, it's just a really solid game, honestly. Like, I like the stories. I like the background stuff. The The music's nice. Uh, it's nice and peaceful. You don't even notice it when you're playing either because you got like a million other things you're watching, but it's it's nice to have it. When it's not there, you notice it's not there. I'll say that much, but. Wooden bowl. Check the bag. Got copper, fishing lures, stones. There's all kinds of stuff to check in here. 
Okay, let's go back this way. I, I'm gonna stop at that chest because that's I know that I've been there. I'll go back this way now. I think I've checked all this. No more cave mushrooms laying around. I don't see any. Okay, there's the entrance, so let's go here. Coppers. Uh, gold ingot. Iron ingot. Yeah. I was happy about finding copper. Seven copper, morning dew, starfish, a warrior's dedication, something or other, white ball mushroom. White ball mushrooms seem very hard to find. Climate, broken climbing gear. I'll take all those too. We can put those together and do something useful with them maybe at some point. Then the chest. Drifter's shoe recipe, health potion, voyager's axe. We're going to have to check that one out. And then a warlord's token. Uh, so I'm guessing we get the warlord's token for um, literally spilling blood to get it, right? You'd think that was probably the case. All right, Voyager's Axe does three to fourteen damage for the secondary. Oh, it's not near as good as ours is. Um, Swabby's Hatchet. Yeah, just two to five damage, right? Two to five damage, five to ten on the big attack. Twelve stamina. Plus gives me two dexterity. Uh, so this has one dexterity, one constitution, but only does one to four damage. I'd rather have the two to five damage. I think. Uh, this one is new, and it's the same thing, yeah. And we got some copper pickaxes, too, so we can sell all those extra things, probably. Don't need them. All right. Boy, this has been a fun one here. Oh, forgot I gotta do that. I gotta actually hit F to get out of there. Lost Remains. Uh, we are at 7, 6, 7, 7 west, 6 south. Uh, we're gonna rest probably till morning. There we go. This was a cool place. I like this. Also, we can mine copper now. I mean, mine iron now, so that's nice too. Nice little upgrades on this trip. Dang. There's no chance of finding those arrows. None. <laughs> no chance. I gotta go back this way anyway, so I figure we'll look around, see if we can find the deer, see if it stops moving at some point. Hopefully it does. Pick up some more copper uh, nodes and some more uh, iron nodes if we find them. That'd be good too. Oh, I see the deer. Got it. Headshot. I mean, I would say just wait a little while, and uh, I'd, I'd plan on putting building another area. To put to put more equipment. I noticed last night when I was on filling, checking everything and make sure everything was good that we needed more. So hold off on it and just just park them wherever you want to for right now, and then we'll we'll get to that. We we need a bigger area for for more equipment. So we'll start working on that soonish. Soonish. But yeah, I would say just park them wherever. Park them in the yard for now. If you can't get them back in, that's fine too. But yeah, we'll, we're gonna we're gonna get a bigger area going too, so uh, place for all the big the big long equipment the big the big stuff. It doesn't really fit on that little small farm anyway. So there's my boat. Look at it. It's, oh, it's drifting out to sea. It looks like. Uh, I just wanted to finish checking the island because you never really know what else is here. There may not be anything. Maybe more stuff to... I got seven arrows left. I see a deer. Hopefully I can get one shot, one kill on this thing. If I can get a headshot. I might be able to. Boom! Level eight. That's what I'm talking about. Don't want to mess with me. This looks like something, but that's probably where the... 
That's the shipwreck. Okay, I was about to say, it looks like something up there. It's just the shipwreck that we've already been. All right, so we've pretty much covered this whole island. So let's go. Uh, either on to the next one or back to the, the main island that we were at. Uh, five west, one south. I have to keep that in my head. This thumbsticks drift constantly. My controller does the same. From all the trials playing, the left thumbstick drifts, drifts because it's the main thumbstick you use playing trials. So it just gets battered. Uh, but yeah, mine, mine does the same thing. So I understand uh, completely. All right, more oil, more iron. Can I believe we're getting iron? I like it. Uh, we need to find a prison guard though. Yeah, look at my boat. What are you doing way out there, man? Oh, just kind of doing its thing. Huh. Alright, I think we're done on this island. I think we found all the lore, we read all the books, we did all the things. We should be good. Should be good to go. On to the next one. Thank you, island. It was fun. Pirate's Post. Yeah, we've already taken that place out. All right. Off we go, then. The lone palm tree out here by itself. All righty. Uh, we have a chest. Is your ship storage, whatever you place here, can be accessed from any storage chest placed on any of your ships. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, check the item chest for some. Yeah, so I like that they did that, actually. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, see, it's uncommon. I thought green. Green is normally uncommon, yeah. I thought I'd seen that. And then blue is rare. So that's good. We got, uh, oh, we got a treasure treasure hunter's hook. Ooh, 50% consume chances. That's not good. Uh, so they did lower the consume chance for lures, basic lures or whatever. They did lower those. So that's good, I guess. If nothing else, we got that much going for us. Uh, what can we do at the loom? Oh, wait a minute. We got recipes. Hang on. We got recipes we need to unlock here. Uh, water dec warrior's decoration recipe. Okay. A crafting recipe for a potion to increase your strength can be crafted at the cooking station. All right, sweet. Uh, brown tapestry. Uh, ship decoration. Got it. And then... Drifter's Shoes Recipe. A re recipe for boots can be crafted at the weaving station. Alright, cool. I thought so. I thought we had something. Drifter's Shoes. One strength, one dexterity, and one armor. What are we wearing right now? I don't know what we're wearing right now. We are wearing basic scholar tunic. Uh, warrior, wind widow's Boots. One dexterity, two constitution, one armor. One strength, one dexterity, one armor. So it's actually worse because we had two strength with our boots on. Hmm. Yeah, we're wearing these. Oh no, this is one dexterity, one constitution, one armor. Why does mine, is, why does mine say two then? Two constitution, one dexterity, one armor. Eh. Alright, well whatever. I thought we were good. I currently have no quest that can be mailed. Okay. Um, Can we craft or cook or do anything of that nature? Venison. Oh, we can cook our venison. Okay. Need more cooking oil, which we can do. I need more plant oil, which we can do. Go. Health potions, which we can do. Level up, level, level 11 herbalism. That's nice. Okay. And then we got uh, four of those left over. That's good. I just need some more meat. Uh, I hate that we can't cook fish. Uh, slow roasted salmon takes a lot actually uh, oh I can make this though hey I can make that uh, I can't now I need more salt what does that do because that seems pretty good uh, slow roasted salmon 25 food 5 health 1 constitution 1 dexterity that's pretty good okay I like it uh, let's eat all these bananas can I just can I just like do this hold F to eat Eat all them dang bananas and get them out of the way. Uh, cheese, yeah, we're going to eat the cheese. 
I'm trying to eat some of the stuff that we can't do anything with. Uh, I mean, we got lean deer meat. Used in higher quality meal recipes can be eaten raw, but gives more food when cooked. I think that does 12 food. Uh, can I not do anything with it? Fried bass. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on now. Well, how did I not see fried bass? I think I skipped over. All right, we can do that. Mushroom soup, we need salt for. Low roasted salmon. How did I just skip right over that? The lean, lean venison. Yeah, it's not, I don't, I don't have what I need to do that. I guess. I can make more plant oil. Probably go ahead. And, should go ahead and do it. I use. That's the only thing I use those for, other than arrows. Crap! I need to make more arrows, and now I need more of those. I've got six. That's a that's a close close start anyway. All right, uh, let's head back north east. Going back northeast. Like having the compass here. We're gonna go back to the um, uh, what is it called? Back to our island, the uh, the the trader island, I guess. What's up, Millard? How's it going? I was gonna make chaff. Yeah, I hadn't bought one yet. Uh, I had planned on getting one, but uh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, let's see. We are going to five west, one south. Right there. We should be headed that way. Uh, and while we're on our way, I don't know if this works or not. Oh, it does. A flotsam. Nice. I don't know what that is, but alright, cool. We're, we're trawling here. See you, Island. See you later. Another flotsam. What is that? It's a flotsam. I don't even know what that is. What category is it under? Uh, flotsam. Hold, interact, consume. Okay. Uh, oh, it's an old chest. Flotsam. Okay. Okay. What did we get? Health potion at 18 copper. Hey. Uh, we got uh, strong stamina potion, copper, and hooks. Dang, but that's pretty good. I'll take that any day. I like catching these old old chests like this. Flotsam means trash. Wow. Well, if somebody's trash, it wasn't mine. That was treasure for me. Maybe after money bean sell time comes. How much money beans do we have? I don't even know how much we have on there. If you wonder what we're talking about, guys, we have a uh, community farm sim server that we, we I stream here on Fridays. Uh, and then it's open to the community. Everything's in Discord. Check it out if you want to. How much did the pirate pay to have his ears pierced? A buck an ear. Ah, I like it. An angelfish. Oh, that's the first angelfish we caught. Oh, generating islands. We must be, yeah, I see our, I see our main island coming up there, I think. What's the, there's a button I can just push. I forgot which one is this one. Yeah. We're at four west, three south. That's not our island. I don't think. Oh no, we gotta go that way. That's the other, that's the pirate island or whatever. Gotta go more north. And we gotta go back east one. Or back, back, uh, back west one. 
Like you're like this. A buck in a year. Oh, that's just too funny. Yeah, we're gonna go back that way. So north. North northwest should be good. West northwest, that should be good. Oh, there it is. Yep, popped up. Don't have to plan our route to the next place, I guess. Where are we going to now? 161,000 liters. We need more. We need more. Oh, I planted uh, I planted money beans on field four, I think. Or something. I planted something somewhere. Rotten wood plank. I don't need that. A brim. I think it's the first brim we've got. Oh, no, we've caught brim. Yeah, we need to fish. I need I need the uh, I need the levels. So this game co-op would be so much fun. I really do believe that. And after this, after today, we're gonna wait on a, a content update for it. I think too, even though I haven't really gotten anywhere uh, content-wise, I've just been kind of roaming around. Uh, but I still want to wait till something new happens. I think a lot of fun though. I may play some and level up off off camera, off stream, just because. Uh, I don't really have a game I play for myself at the moment, just to play and not have to worry about, you know, not getting too far ahead. It would be nice to have something like that. This may be it, where I just ride around and fish and just level up. That's our island. We need to be going there, but I need to catch a fish. All right, fine. I gotta say, they nailed the water. Uh, and the, the graphics are, I, I like the graphics, I like this art style. Uh, it is a little bit cartoony looking, but I like the art style, I think it looks really good. It's a great game. Uh, and I do have Salt 1 in my inventory, maybe I played it, I just don't remember it. I'm not real sure, to be honest with you. Turtle Shell Refuge. Alright, let's go see if we can sell some things here. We've got room if you got the gold. I'd like to browse your stock, but I want to sell you things. I don't want to buy things. All right, so Adventurer's Bow uh, does the same thing as mine, so we're going to sell it. Angelfish, we're going to hold on to those. Hold on to the antlers. Uh, an axe head? Broken axe head, not worth much. Bard's hat. One constitution, one agility, one armor. My hat, I like better, I think, so we're going to get rid of that. Uh, basil, bluefish, we're going to keep all those because there's probably some kind of... Um, Adventurer's bow, one dexterity, one agility, one six. Just one six shoots arrows. Okay, yes, we'll get rid of both of those. Uh, there's probably some kind of something we can do with something. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I don't know what that something would be, but there's gotta be something there. Oh, check this out. Cooked venison is uh, five five copper. Cooked boar is ten copper. That's pretty good. We got a lot of cooked venison. Cooking oils too. Copper ingot, copper ore. I need to go make some copper ore. I need to spend some time doing that, I guess. Copper pickaxes we can get rid of. Oh, we picked up two honey somewhere. All right. 39 human bones. An old dusty bone. Yeah, I assume so. Uh, Marauder's hat. I think we already hit. That's not the one that's equipped, is it? Let's just go here first, I think, and get rid of the... Yeah, that's the one. So we got the tricorn hat, Marauder's hat. What does it do? Two strength, one armor, one talent remaining. One armor. Uh, this might actually be better. Uh, I'm gonna ho hold on to that for a second. Let's go to weapons here so we can get rid of the extra ones we don't need. Uh, Pirate's Cutlass. 5 to 10. Yeah, we'll just get rid of that one. And then I like the hatchet we have, so we'll just get rid of all these. And then that should be it. We got one bow, one hatchet, fishing, copper. Yep, okay. Uh, food, we're keeping all of that, I think. There's no reason to sell any of it. A red crab. Um... It gives us food. I guess we'll hold on to it. I don't know if this stuff spoils or not, so... Uh, then crafting. We don't really have anything we want to sell. I want to see how much the oil sells for. One. Copper sells for, what, five? Is that what that was? Three. What does iron sell for? I know we have some iron and gold ingots, so... Five here. Sells for five copper. Which is silly, because... A hundred copper is one silver coin. But... Five copper is worth one iron ingot. That seems weird to me, but okay. The lean deer meat. 
Uh, I don't know how to cook it. I'm guessing there's a recipe somewhere that we have to find. Uh, strong plant fibers. Four each. It's not bad. Pearl. 50. These sell for 50 copper each. For the uncommon ones. That's crazy. 40 here. I don't know, see, I don't know if I need these for anything, so I'm kind of hanging on to them. I may go put them in my chest on the ship. And then a gold ingot as well. 25 copper for one gold ingot. Seems kind of cheap. <laughs> uh, keeping that warlord token. Um... I think we'll hang on to them because they're probably worth something somewhere. Oh, we got some new maps too we got to check out. So, uh, human bones. I can just sell it. So, this looks like it's just junk, right? Uh, that's what this looks like. Stringy deer meat. I don't know what I can do with it either. Inedible. Sell it. Okay. If we can't do anything with it, sell it. Uh, broken stone tablet. We're going to hang on to it. Again, I don't know why, but we're going to hang on. What does that say? A damaged nomad scroll. All right, I think that's it. I think that's all I want to get rid of. Thanks, sir. Okay, let's go back to the ship and let's do some uh, some thinking here. This side, this side, yeah. Uh, let's do some looking around at uh, what we're putting in the chest. I want to put some stuff in here. Uh, this, no, not there. This, yes, warlord tokens. They can go in there. Actually, you know what? I may need those. Let's keep those out. Uh, let's put all of this stuff in there. Ruby. Gold. Uh, silver ore. Rite of Passage key shard. We're going to hang on to that. Scuff diamond. Sapphire. Uncommon pearls. Uh, emeralds. We'll go ahead and put those up. Um, and then some ironing it. We can keep the golding it. We can leave in there, though. I feel like... And that's rare, too. That's pretty good. That's a really good drop. Uh, yeah, see, these carrot carried items. Uh, I'm sure this, like, it's under crafting as well, so you gotta be able to do something with those, I would think, anyway. Uh, and then all this stuff. Yeah, we have nothing extra on us except for this. Two strength and one armor. This is just one armor, and it has leech on it. Uh, let's go see what, what, if anything, we can put on here. Uh, mirror, minor strength and minor armor. I like having leech because it actually takes off uh, one of the... It, it pulls a little bit of health every time I get attacked, so... Uh, I think we're going to keep it that way. For now. Uh, also, I need to make a shirt because I don't think I have one. Oh, no, we got the Scholar's Tunic. That's right. Can we make a different tunic that's better? Uh, the Wanderer's Tunic plus two Constitution plus three armor. The Scholar's Tunic is two Constitution, three armor. And this one's two Constitution, three armor, right? Yeah, this has got a talent point on it where ours does not. Hopefully we can find something else at some point. That'd be good. All right, let's check the, the new map we got here. Uh, map to Catacombs. 15 west, 15 south. Okay, so we have been Pirate King Island. We found both of those maps. Uh, we've been to the shipwreck. We found those two to Desert Island. 15 west, 15 south. 15 west, 15 south. The Catacombs are on the Pirate Island. I mean, on the uh, Desert Island. Got it. Okay. Map to Seaport. So this is the Pirate Island. We went past the Pirate Island last time. Let's try that again. I'm just going to go... We're going to head back out. There's no reason to hang around here. Uh, we're going to head back out, but we're going to do some... Um, we're going to go this way, I think. Yeah, I think we're going to go this way, southeast, right? And that's two west, two south. That's where the... Uh, so the other island's like right there. Oh, also, I need to see if we can make that tapestry. I need to see that, too. Because of lack of canola. Yeah, I feel like the all-in-one production is great, but I feel like it's slow. I feel like it's really slow. Um, I like it. It's just really slow. We may have to put down uh, an actual oil plant just for canola. All right. We want to go... I forgot where those were. They were 3 west, 2 south. 3 west, 5 south. I can't remember to be exact. Uh, they were like right here somewhere. They were right past this island somewhere. So we're going to go to that island. We're going to go past it though. Oh, I guess we need to... Uh, to weigh the anchor and set sail. Let's go. I 
Maybe going more south, though, I think. Go. There we go. And we should see it. Yeah, there it is right there. So we're just going to go past this island because I think it's what we did last time. Uh, we just kept going south and we ran into some random islands that we that we had not found. Uh, and sometimes I think that may be the best way to play this game. Sometimes. Just just go for it, man. Just get out there and, and go. Wait, what does that mean? Toggle. Oh, I bet we can turn it off or pick it up or something too. Cooking oil. We'll go ahead and make two more cooking oils. So we're out of sage. Need more sage. Strong plant fibers for fabric dye. Used to dye cloth and other fabric. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to look and see if we can craft this, uh... Uh, coarse leather, dark fur. Uh, gold, gold lace silk. That seems a lot. Infused iron leather. Iron infused leather. Uh, so we need three pristine leather for that. Pristine leather takes rough leather and fine cloth. A ruined cloth. Ooh, ruined stone. Uh, wasn't there? Maybe it's made at the crafting table. Alright, there's that island. We're just gonna keep going. Uh, ebony hardened plank. Yeah, we don't have any ebony. Ebony sandpaper. There's a lot of stuff we've unlocked that we didn't. We should, probably shouldn't have. Hardened sandpaper. Iron ingot. Greenwood plank. Okay, lumber. Just regular old lumber. Thanks, greenwood planks. We don't have those yet. No, I'm looking for the, uh, maybe it's the cartographer's table. That's what it is. I think we're gonna go a little bit more east here. Yeah, it's too far east. Something like that. I think it put us back on the same course. Aha! There's one of the islands. Um, there's, there's several down here. We've been to the first two. Brown rug. Let's take to make the rug. Linen, brown tapestry. That's what we want. We want linen leather and then two sand stained buckets linen and leather it's regular old linen and leather huh uh oh we need plant fibers uh, i can make these though all right uh we need plant fibers for that though and i got a bunch of leather now so that's good uh yeah i think we've been to that one and there's another island there right yeah so they're there we need to go south we need to go to the next one we haven't been to that one. Actually, let's go sleep too. It's it's dark. There we go. Good morning. Beautiful world. Uh, yeah, we've been to that one. We've been to that one. We just need to go straight south. There's another one in front of us, I think. Right. New adventure. Yeah, last time, episode two of this, we went to that island first, then we jumped over to that one. And I said we'd come back and go to this one. So we're coming back, we're going to this one. <laughs> we're coming back and going to this one. Uh, I don't know what all's here. We may end up getting killed. I have no idea. This is not... I don't have a map for these islands. I think they're just islands you can find. So, we'll see, I guess. I don't, I don't know what's in store for us. Looks like a desert, though. Wait, where are we at? Hang on. One, one west, six south. Isn't that, uh... Isn't that one of these maps? No, ten west, one south is the battle master. Yeah, so none of these, none of these are, uh, are the ones we're looking for. That's all right though. Uh, doesn't mean we can't come up here and do some, uh, do some, do some fighting and whatnot. I should should have picked more stuff though. This does not look like a desert island now that I'm up here. Uh, I need more fibers. I know that.
This is a big island. Uh, or... There's water between these two, probably. Probably water between that island. Dang it! I'll push that one. Are there pirate ships out there? May attack? I haven't seen any of the ships just yet. Doesn't mean they're not here. But I haven't seen any. There might be. There might be other pirate ships. I'm not sure. I came this way because of the ruins, but I'm not really seeing anything here. Yeah, so I went to that and that, and I said I would come here, so I think we're on the right track. I don't think I've already been here. Maybe I have, but I don't think so. I think I remember saying that we went to those two and we'd come to this one next. Kind of scarce, though. There's not a whole lot here, is there? Oh, there's boar. Nice. Did zero damage. A lot of arrows. Crap. Big oh. raw hide. All right. Uh, can I find my arrow now? That's going to be the next question. Right there, there's where I shot him, I think. Oh, no, here we go. All right, now we've got one arrow back anyway. i find these other guys. Oh, they leave blood trails. I didn't realize. We can sneak up on him. We can take him out with the hatchet. Got him. Then what? I passed one right here. Walked right past me. You go. You go. We need the meat. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, I need the meat. We got to be able to eat. Ah, let's see. Ya. I did better with the uh, the crouching and sneaking up on him. Right again. Uh huh? Maybe he'll stay turned the other way. We sneak right up on him. Where'd he go? Dang Houdini pig here. Spider pig, spider pig. There we go. Got him. Ah, dang it. I keep hitting one. Stop hitting one. Hit two. Or iron vein is always good. Okay. Got some boar meat, which is good. What else is here? Got a lot of uh, wash over here, doesn't it? I like the differences in the islands too. They, they're they're all a little bit different. Same yet different. The same yet different. More ruins over here. I think this is where I was headed. Let's go around and we'll uh, we'll end up at those ruins right up there. Hopefully. And if there wasn't so much water here, it'd look like star sand. Oh, there's another boar. You know about? Can I fish right here? You think there's fish in these uh, little places? 
Guess we could try it, couldn't we? Uh, equip. We'll see. I mean, I don't know if there's anything here or not. Definitely doesn't seem that way. Okay, maybe not. Maybe nothing. Oh, there's a little house over here. Yeah, it looks like that's over to the next island there. We may just swim that. Honestly, I think we could probably swim it across. I don't know if there's going to be somebody I have to fight. This looks more like um, refuge than anything. Not a refuge, but uh, a trader outpost or something, probably. But it seems like, anyway. Hey, let's go see. I got my sword out, or my axe out, just in case. Fishing hut. Hey, sweet. All right. Uh, my guy, you're, you're hard to get to. Oh, you got stairs over here. Okay, cool. What's this now? Map of the islands. It's a waterfall in the middle. Mermaid. There's a ship over there. That's north. Hmm. Okay. And we can take all of his stuff, but uh, I don't know if I want to. Go talk to him first. I do love fishing. You need some bait? I'll sell bait. Good bait, too. Actually, could you help me with something? What do you need? Uh, you look like a capable adventurer. You see, I'm making a new fishing pole to catch the big fish. I need something very strong and durable for the fishing line. Like what? Uh, I spoke to a researcher recently and learned of a strong type of rope only found among ancient ruins, particularly those in ancient stone chest. I think the rope would be perfect for making strong fishing line. If you find a coal of this ancient rope, bring it back to me. I'll give you some coin for your spare time. Okay. Uh, good. Brought a map from the researcher for some ancient ruins. Maybe you'll find a chest here. Find a chest there if you haven't been already been there. Uh, good luck. Just come back when you have the rope. Okay. Uh, quest started. Where is this quest? There we go. Uh, yeah, just let's just track this one. Track. Go. Now, still this guy. I can steal all this guy's stuff. Oh, lock fisherman's chest needs a key to open. I guess I could kill him. Probably wouldn't do as much good, but I could do that. I mean, he's the one that left it all here, right? I'm a pirate after all. All right, uh, Tales of the Sea. The following excerpt is uh, from Tales of the Sea, Volume 1. In those days, a pirate was a rare sight. Uh, oh, no, we've already read this. Okay, never mind. Put that back. Keep, keep stealing things. Uh, Tales of the Sea, Volume 2. I don't think we've read this one. Here we go, Volume 2. Uh, let's find some sunlight here. Sorry, I'm just reading your book, sir. Don't mind me. There we go. Uh, Tales of the Sea, Volume 2. It started off the port of Newcastle, where we stopped to resupply our ship and crew before heading out on another voyage. The small port is nestled in the set of, an island, set of islands known as the Forgotten Isles. It got the name from a sailor named Captain Jack, who discovered it many years ago. Most thought he was crazy when he set out to discover the islands as, as many ships uh, had passed near the area before and never noticed anything but a blue horizon. But Captain Jack believed otherwise. Jack was superstitious and a man uh, and had met and had met with a soothsayer before his excursion. The soothsayer told Jack that he was meant for a higher purpose and that he would find life where others had not. Jack took this to be a sign of good fortune for his expedition, so he left to discover the supposed uh, isles that were not to be found. After many days at sea, Jack saw a great white fog that obscured his view for many miles. Instead of going around it, 
Jack sailed straight into the white abyss. While inside, the compass quit working. He lost all sense of direction. He lost. He was lost in the fog for days and began to think he wouldn't find his way out when he finally saw it, the Forgotten Isles. When Jack set foot on the isles, the fog began to lift, and in the coming weeks, other ships were able to find the isles before they could not see. Jack set himself up as some sort of king on the island, and everyone who wanted to make home there had to make an offering of some sort. Usually gold, but rumor has it other things were sometimes offered. At any rate, that was a long time ago, and Jack was Jack has long since passed on. Most folks think the islands are just like any other islands, full of trees and rocks and sand. Others still believe the island to be mystical in some mythical in some way, mystical in some way. I used to think that people were foolish. That is until what happened to us when we arrived. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. I'm digging the story they got going on. I really am. All right, let's go loot the rest of this guy's stuff. He didn't seem to mind. Taking it right in front of him, he's not trying to fight us, so. Why not, right? You're not going to fight me. And I'll take it. <laughs> I'm not, not going to argue. It is a pirate's life for me, after all. Found some silver ore, that's good. Uh, fishing pole, I'll take the fishing pole too. I'll take everything that's not nailed down, son. Sage, I need sage, that's good. What was that? Is that an old book? It was an old book. I'll take everything not nailed down. Alright, cool. Uh, let's continue on over here. Uh, so I guess we got a new map, right? Yeah. Uh, two west, five south. Two west, five south. We're one west, six south. Two west, five south. That'd be that island right over there. That'd be that one. Yeah, that'd be one more north from here and then one more west from here. We've already been to that island. We have to go back to that island, I guess. If we didn't find the rope, then we're going to have to go back. And maybe we sold the rope. I don't know. I'm going to be real honest. I don't know. But we got to go check it out now, though. We've got to go check it out. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot here, does there? I was hoping around these ruins there'd be something, but... I don't really see anything. Maybe I missed a chest on that island. Maybe that's the deal. And I've already been to it. I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, dang piggies. Got away from me again. One south, six west. One west, six south. One west, six south. I gotta remember that next time we play. And somebody said chart the islands. I don't know how to do that. Uh, let's see. Uh, create less. What is this? Uh, add island to last known position. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, we can do that. I didn't realize we could do that. All right, sweet. Means we could add all these islands. Uh, we can chart them all. Everyone we go to. I didn't realize. Well, that's gonna be handy. Yeah. Somebody said to do that, and I was like, I don't know what you mean. I didn't see an option for it. Of course, there's an option for it, though. Why wouldn't there be? All right, we just need to turn the boat around and jump over to that island, I guess, and go see. Because that'd be... That would be the one, right? It'd be 2 west, 5 south. It'd have to be that one. Dang it. Did it again. Leaving now. I, I voltage have a good one. Be safe. Out there on the road. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Let's head over to this island, see if we can find that strange rope he speaks of. Uh, I'm gonna have to look again to see exactly where. Uh, let's see, quest. A fisherman's looking for a new fish, make a new fishing pole with a strange, a strong line and can catch bigger fish. He believes there's an old type of rope that's incredibly strong, but he only found an ancient ruins chest. I found ancient ruins chest. Oh, that's the one where the, the skeletal people were. 
I should have found the rope and uh, returned it to the fisherman. Okay. Get your rope thing. Let's we'll see if we can do this. I don't know if I'm gonna have time or not. Hard to port. No, we didn't make it. Okay. I tried. It just wasn't happening. Wait, can I do this? Uh, I guess I could add it to my hot, hot bar, couldn't I? The ship? Uh, I guess not. But I can add it to the hot bar. Cannot. Okay. Yeah, we're just literally just jumping right over there to that island I think is going to be the one we need to go to. Maybe it's Sanu? I, I think it's some kind of magical rope. There's a lot of magic in this, uh... I say magic. Uh, there's a lot of rarities in the game, I guess you would say. Not really magic. It's it's more rarity type items. All right. If I'm not mistaken, uh, right here is where the skeletal folks were. So let's go see if I mean that's a ruins area. So I'm hoping that's it. I just don't know how many actual skeletals there's going to be. That's going to be the biggest issue, I think, for me. I see some ore over here I didn't get last time, though, I think. And I don't know how often stuff respawns, if it respawns at all. I have no clue. It looks like the ore came back, or I just didn't get this. One of the two, I guess. skeletals are up here none they don't come back all right sweet and it said a new rope found in a chest uh the sea serpent excerpt i don't think we read this last time because these books were not able to be opened that's one of the patch things they did this is the reason we have so many more of these this time all these books weren't able to be opened excerpt from the sea serpents uh the sea serpent by frank mulligan and then i saw it the great beast came bellowing out of the ocean, spraying the ship with icy cold water. I felt the sting on my skin and almost lost my footing as the waves crashed against the white pearl. I drew my scimitar and looked up at the beast as it let out the most horrendous scream I'd ever heard. It was nearly a hundred feet tall, its skin green and covered with algae. It had scales that glistened in the moonlight were nearly blinding. On his head were two yellow eyes, large black stilts, slits. As it opened his mouth, I saw a string of acid saliva stretched between its human-sized fangs, the jagged teeth at the root of his mouth. I knew the battle was lost before it even began, but I felt I must do something. I could not go down without a fight. I rushed toward the deck, planted a foot on the railing, and heaved myself over, flying toward the great serpent. My scimitar in both hands above my head, I came barreling down toward the beast and landed on its body with my blade plunged deep into its scales. I slid down probably ten feet and watched the blood sprayed out, causing me to nearly lose my grip. The serpent let out another one of its harrowing cries and it climbed even higher into the sky. My grip tightened and the beast carried me another fifty feet toward the starry night. I was looking down at the ship knowing that letting go now would be certain death. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, we didn't get those last time. So there is a chest over here somewhere. Taking this. Hello? Taking that. Uh, and I don't know. Pretty sure we'd already checked it. Ancient key required. 
Ancient key required. Well, how do we get an ancient key? Ancient key required. I feel like we're going to be on this place for a minute because we're going to have to find an ancient key. And I don't know where to get it. Um, we killed all these guys and I didn't get an ancient key from any of these dudes, so. That's kind of disheartening. It's starting to get dark, though. We may, uh, may rest until daylight and then run around this island and see if we can find it. There's got to be a cave or something I missed, right? There's got to be something I missed here. Because we do not have an ancient key. I know that for a fact. Compass. We can sell that compass. Always good to have a little extra to sell. Yeah, I think we missed something. I think that's part of the issue here. Because uh, we killed the head guy and he did not drop an ancient key. Almost no for a fact he didn't drop one. Huh. Hmm. That's pretty much everything. There's something behind this over here, if I'm not mistaken. Right here somewhere? Oh, no, it's just one of these. This is not what I was thinking. Yeah, we already checked all that. We've already checked all this stuff. Uh, I guess we may have to wait. Lock chest. Ancient key required. Can I lock pick it? Well, if I just pick the lock on it, would that, be, would that suffice? I don't think it would. I think we need to find the uh, a cave. Oh, I forgot about this guy too. Or oh, a lantern still burning. I was wondering why we had so much light still. I forgot about this guy. Oh, we took all his stuff too, didn't we? Oh, this book wasn't able to be read. Tells us to see volume two. I think we've already read this one though. Started off with yeah, Port of Newcastle. We've already read that one. Poor guy, we took all his stuff too. Yeah, let's talk to this guy again and see if he's got any words of wisdom for us that might help us out. Mm -hmm. Hello there. I'm a researcher for this, uh, the scholars get, yeah, so what kind of research? Uh, what kind of research? Sounds interesting. How do I join? Goodbye. Okay. Yeah, never mind. That's, that's the guild guy. I was thinking he was, uh, some sort of duel we could, uh, get a quest off of or something, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know where this ancient key is because I've already killed the... Uh, maybe I should have... What you mean? How am I supposed to go to that island first when the island we left is actually closer to this one? Doesn't make any sense. On a fire here and rest. Rest till sunrise. Boom. Alright, let's go. Uh, this way first. I know there's a hunter right over here, I think. Yeah, I think those are the only baddies on this island. Hunter Merchant. Uh, did I take your stuff? I did not, but I'm about to. Taking whatever's not... not uh, Call of the Sea. I think we've read Call of the Sea a, a few times, haven't we? Once was a man without a home. Yeah, I've already read that one. Call of the Sea, he said. Call of the Sea. Empty barrel, working station. Okay, make some more arrows. That's good. I need those. Sandstone, banana, oil, starfish. I'll take all that stuff. I'm just robbing everybody blind because, well, we're pirates. That's what we do. Yo ho, yo ho, the pirates life for me. Uh, cook more. Nice. Okay. Save the sage for later. Let's go see if this guy anything's. If he's got anything extra to tell us. Uh, not right now. Nope. Never mind. Alright, let's see if we can find a cave. 
I'm pretty sure we've already been to it. I'm, I'm guessing that's the only other place this would be, is in a cave. I don't, I can't see where else a key would be for ancient whatever. Ancient key. Ah, sun's bright in my eyeballs. Okay. Go the other way then. Wait, is this something that's mineable? No, it's just a rock. I thought it was like sandstone, like a whole chunk of sandstone or something. I was wrong though. Not, it's not. Gotta be something here, somewhere, right? I was pretty sure there was a cave on this island. I've been wrong many times in my life, though. Usually about things that, I, that I'm pretty sure of, but I say I think. I'm usually wrong about those. I just, man, I thought for sure there was a cave here or something. Yeah, I don't know how to get that ancient key now. Maybe it really was one of those deals like you had to go to that island first before you fought all these guys. I'm not, I'm not sure. Or maybe I have the rope, but I put it in my, in my chest on the ship, maybe? Maybe that's what it- maybe it's in the chest on the ship. We'll have to check. Stay right there, little piggy. Oh yeah, I like them all. I think I've seen them all. They're all fantastic. I like them. Not everybody's going to like them, but I do. Uh, I don't see any other place on this island where we can find an ancient key. And that's the chest. It's locked. So that means we'll have to go find something somewhere else and come back. Uh, oh, also, we need to... Mark this map, I guess. Uh, wait, are we not still... Are we on the wrong island, maybe? US 5 South. Oh, there we go. Okay. I forgot to move it. Yeah. I just forgot to move it. But it was. Alright, let's go to... Let's go to this other island over here, and we'll chart that one, too. Can I wait a better, better way to do this? Can I not? Can I put that thing in my hot bar? If we can pick our ship up and put it down somewhere else, we should be able to do that. The ancient key store. I guess it's the only way to do it. We're gonna jump across that island right there and chart that one too. We're gonna start charting these islands. I didn't realize I could do that. I'm glad to know I can though. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Uh, we could make charcoal. I already made a commander, commander's ring. Uh, copper ingot. We have a lot of copper. We'll go ahead and level up to 60. We have some iron, too. Somewhere. Oh, it takes 
It takes those and that. Can't craft. Level 10 blacksmithing required. Oh, okay. All right, now that I know. Uh, iron pickaxe would be real handy in greenwood planks and sandpaper, which we can make. Greenwood planks and sandpaper. I'm just running over here to chart this island, because I don't think there's anything else here I can do, really, that's going to make a difference. This might be the one with the cave in it. Uh, let's see. Greenwood. Hardened set. No, I just need regular old sandpaper. Okay, here we go. Sandpaper. Uh, and then... Greenwood plank. We landed on the beach. We've landed on the moon! Uh, greenwood planks. Oh, I need hard... I need wood planks. How do I make wood planks, then? It's too confusing. Alright. Greenwood planks now. Can't craft. Level 10 working... Oh, God, it's a level 10 woodworking recipe. Okay. There we go. Got it. Uh, green. I don't know how many I needed. Oh, it still says can't craft, which I find really odd. Uh, but we did craft it. Insufficient material. Oh, insufficient materials now. Okay. All right, that's fine. Uh, and then we can make... Go down here. We make ourselves an iron pickaxe. Oh, we can make a deck hands blade. Ours is better than that, though. I don't really need it. Uh, we can make ourselves an iron pick now. Iron pickaxe. Three to four damage, five to six, parry window. Yeah, I just want to be able to... Uh, respectable un among miners. Can't craft. Oh, level 10 blacksmithing. Of course it's a level 10 blacksmithing. Okay. What do I need to do to get level 10 blacksmithing? How close are we? Not close enough. It takes a lot to get a level up. Okay, uh, we'll wait. Uh, so zero east, four south. Chart this one now. Go. I actually am going to hop off here because I feel like I may have missed something somewhere. I think I'm going to hop off here. There we go. Raider's Refuge. Oh, I forgot about this place. Okay. Yeah, this is the peaceful place. There is a cave here somewhere, I think, though. Iron ore. Raider's Re Oh, no, this is not a peaceful place. I remember fighting all these guys now. Yeah, I don't think we left anything behind either. Could use some more fiber. So as we're running around, we'll look for more fiber. Uh, we raided this place, though. This place is empty, empty. And we checked everything. I think there's a cave on the back side of this one, though. And it looks like the flowers don't even regrow, which is... That's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. I'm pretty sure that cave... I think this is our thumbnail. <laughs> I think this is the thumbnail picture right here. Uh, maybe this is the chest at the ruins. No, it can't be, because he, he specifically gave me the coordinates to that, that other island. Yeah, we looted the crap out of this place. Uh, there's a cave underneath this place, though, I think. No, not this one. It's the one uh, this way. There's one over this way that's uh, that place. And I don't know if there's anything in the cave. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm just looking. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure this out. So. Ah, deer are tough, man. Okay, well, we got four arrows left now that I wasted all of them. Good, good. Just waste all your arrows, you big dummy. Some more ruins. It's got to be those ruins, though, right? It's got to be. Like, it's an ancient chest. Uh, found an ancient ruins chest. Yeah, so it's an ancient ruins chest. That's the only one I've seen. There's an ancient ruins chest. It's got to be that one. 
Uh, Pirates of Fire excerpt. Oh, we haven't seen this one yet. As an expert, e excerpt from the fantasy novel Pirates of Fire by James Rudkin. The night had been calm, but Captain Glover knew the battle was about to begin. A fiery red glow painted in the horizon as a new day dawned. Something deep inside him, farther down than he dared to look, whispered a faint message. This day may be your last. We've already read this one. We read this in the last one. <laughs> I just read it. I just realized it. Read that in the last one. What about Queens of Dreams? Yeah, we already read that one. Empty D's. Yeah, I mean, I guess we're just... I guess we're just here, honestly. Like, this is it. Like, there's... Nothing else. We're gonna have to go to a new island, maybe, and figure out why we can't. Why don't we have? Why don't we have a key to that? We should have a key to that chest. If we killed the main guy there, right? We did. We killed the main guy. We should have a key to that chest. But we do not. Alas, we do not. A little damage. Bro, didn't we crash our boat right over here somewhere? We came across right here. I'm definitely gonna take more iron. Well, either way, I know we're gonna go back that way. So, uh, let's drop the boat out here. Off we go again. We did mark this place, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have a whole uh, we're gonna have a whole bunch of islands marked. What's that? That's the that's the home thing, I think. Uh, we're gonna go around this island. We're gonna go to the next island, I think, because that'd be the next best place to go. I would think anyway, it'd be the next best place to go. So guys, it got down to 48 here last night. Just wild. It's like a week and a half ago, it was 90. 93 during the day. And the last two days, it's been like 75. Oh, hit my mic with my water bottle there. My bad. And now it's whistling at me. Now we're going to go around this island. We're going to go to this back island back here. Because we haven't charted this one yet. So... Um, wow, though, I just can't believe we don't have an ancient key. Like, why do we not have an ancient key? I think maybe I glitched the game or something? I don't know. Maybe I gotta give it a couple days and go back to that place or something. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do different. Um, I guess we will find out at some point whether or not I've messed up somewhere. I probably have. I probably have. Alright, full steam ahead. There we go. One west, seven south. Go to our map. Part that one. Alright. Let's see if there's anything immediate that looks obvious. It could be of use. I've got to leave a bit early today. I've got to stop and get fuel before I go pick up the kids, so. Uh, I just want to look around real quick. See if there's anything that's just super obvious to us. Other than iron ore.
This island's pretty big. Looks like there's a lot going on down here. There's nothing going on down there. Go up top then. Anything going on up here? Get a bird's eye point of view here. There's some ruins over there. Um, and it said provided you haven't been there yet. I'm guessing once you've wiped that part of it, then there's just maybe it's no longer maybe it's no longer viable. I don't know. There are some ruins right over there. Uh, I don't have time to get to them today, though. I'll have to come back to it. Ah! Uh, I don't really see any of this boar and deer on this island, though. That's a good sign. Maybe key in another area. It might be, Bone. Yeah, it's very possible. Yeah, that looks like... Looks like a traitor right here. Let's go see. I'm sword. I don't think this person's gonna fight me. Researcher. Okay. Cool. I mean, I'm gonna take your stuff. You gonna leave it laying there? How to win pirates and influencers? Uh, take parchment. Yeah, I'll take it. Bananas. Yep, I'll take it. I'm gonna take all your stuff. You're just gonna leave it laying here. What is this? Bobby's hatchet. Leave it laying there. We'll talk to this guy next. Maybe this is not uh, a bad place. Maybe this is a good place. I don't see anything else trying to kill us, so that's always a thing. Okay. Well, let's just let me run over here real quick. Then I was gonna go because I didn't want to fight anything right now, but this is indeed a cave. All right. Cool. All right. So we know there's a cave here. That's good. There's some there's some ruins right over here too. Uh, maybe we do have to fight somebody over there, though. Rite of Passage. Looks like lots of people have tried and failed. Lots of people have tried and failed. Rite of passage, huh? Okay. Oh, there's another place over here. Man, there's a lot. Oh my god, look at this. There's a whole whole village over here with people. That's going to be bad guys, I'm pretty sure. That's skellies over there. Yeah, that's going to be skellies. Alright, I've got to take off. We'll get back to this at some point. We'll probably come back to it again. Um... Not next week, but the next. There's Jacob's Diary. Yeah, there's all kinds of lore and stuff. This is a big place. All right, cool. Uh, so this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm just picking up loose loot here as we're going. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun, I think. And blacksmith chest. Sweet. All right, I'm going to head back to the ship, and we're going to call it a day there. I appreciate you guys for being here and hanging out with me, as always. Uh, the next time we do this one, we're going to be back here. And we're going to be going through all of this stuff. It seems like there's a lot of lore. There's a lot to do on this island. So we'll be checking this out uh, and going through this. And then probably hopping over to that series of islands there. Because this is the back side of the island right here where I'm at. So there's a whole series of islands right there. That should be fun to try to get into. Uh, hopefully we can do that. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are. Later, folks.